Anna Deku, I'm speaking to you today about alcohol impaired driving and its costs. An average of one alcohol impaired driving fatality took place Hi. every 48 minutes in the year 2009. That's 10,839 deaths in a single year, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The no, AD Council okay. put out a TV commercial that hits the nail on the head. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Costly DUI fines and skyrocketing insurance premiums and fatal accidents have become a reality to those whose minds have become clouded with the misconception, oh, I've only had a couple of drinks. The blood alcohol content level is 0.08% in the United States, which includes the state of Mississippi. It's 0.02% for everyone under the age of 21. Are you aware that tens, teens, <laughs> teens make up 10% of the United States population? 12% of all fatal car accidents are by teens who have been under the influence of alcohol. That's a sad statistic. That's our children in high school haven't even graduated yet. 23% of those drivers were from the age of 15 to 20 and they died with a blood alcohol content of 0.08% or higher. We need to bring those numbers lower. We need to take the time and talk to somebody, even if we don't know them, we see them getting in their car drunk, even if you don't know them, convince them, don't drive. We gotta get those numbers down. Even dealing with some mad parents is better than thousands of dollars or a fatality. Um, during this research, I did a study. Well, I found a story about a young man named Tony from Chicago, Illinois, who in 2004 went to a party as a designated driver. While he was there, he had two friends that were girls, and he was kind of watching out for them, and they decided it was time for them to go. And He said, well, let me take you home. No, 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 we already called, we have someone. Are you sure? Yeah. Are they sober? Yeah, they're sober. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, well, we'll see you in school. All right. So they took off and left. But they got in the car with two guys. The girls got in the back seat. A few minutes later, one of the girls calls Tony at the party. Please come get me quick. Tony gets out to the destination. The police officer meets him. And he tells him, your friends were in a car accident. He said the driver was drunk. He was driving 120 miles per hour on the highway and when they came around a curve there was an 18-wheeler with a flatbed trailer and they didn't have time to hit the brakes. He swerved but he didn't miss. The driver and the passenger behind him were both killed. These two walked away with minor cuts and bruises. We need to change these statistics. We need to really watch out. We really need to talk to our children and our friends who have kids in school and convince them, you know, it's better. You know, let's get a hold, let's talk, communicate, and get a hold of these kids. Well, what happens when you get pulled over for an alcohol-impaired driving? Well, the first thing you're going to be asked is to take a breathalyzer or a sobriety test. And if you refuse, your license are taken away for a full year. Then you're facing a possible 48 hours in jail. Then you look at bail, which costs anywhere from $600 to $1,100. According to Lee Bonds in Starkville, it is $1,100 for your first offense. Your fines, just for breaking the law, because you knew you shouldn't be doing that in the first place, is going to cost $250 to $1,000. Your driver's license is suspended for 90 days. During that 90 days, you, it's mandatory that you go to the alcohol safety education class. That costs anywhere from $100 to $149. Then you finally can get your driver's license back for another $100. <laughs> then what happens when you get arrested to your car? I mean, what happens to your car when you get arrested? It gets impounded. That's another $200. And if it stays there more than 24 hours, it's another $30 per day. Legal fees, 
$250 if you're lucky and decide to plead guilty. Otherwise, your lawyer is going to charge you $2,000 to $25,000. I'm a cab driver, as I was telling you earlier, and I've heard stories of some students paying $10,000 and another one as much as $20,000 because of a DUI. Now, after talking about all this and counting it all up, it came to about $5,000 at the least. So let's not become a statistic. Plan ahead, drink responsibly, get a designated driver. They're as close as your nearest friend. A cab is just a phone call away. Remember, friends don't let friends drink and drive. Thank you.